To France next, where a major manhunt is into a second day after a prisoner escaped when a heavily armed gang ambushed the prison van that he was in. Two French prison officers were killed. The brazen attack took place near the city of Rouen in Normandy. Three other prison guards were injured. Inside the van was a drug dealer known as The Fly, who was being taken from court to prison when the ambush took place at a toll booth. Our Europe correspondent Nick Beek has this report. An unremarkable toll booth in northern France and the scene of a swift and brutal ambush. CCTV footage shows the moment a dark car veers into a white prison van and at least two masked attackers start shooting. Terrified passengers on a passing bus throw themselves to the ground as the bullets ring out. One assailant is seen strolling calmly among the other vehicles on the motorway. Then here you can make out the prisoner himself wearing white trainers as he emerges from the prison van. The gang sets fire to their own vehicle, the smoke only adding to the chaos. Some of them run towards another car, a white one, to begin their escape. The aftermath, carnage. Two prison officers dead, others gravely injured. As their police colleagues begin a painstaking search for evidence in an attack that's been described as an assault on France itself. They will be arrested. They will be judged and they will be punished commensurate to the crime that they have committed. This is the man who was freed in the bloody assault. 30-year-old Mohamed Amra, a convicted local burglar. But he was also the suspect in a fatal kidnapping in the southern city of Marseille, which is facing an onslaught of gang violence. Amra and his accomplices are now being hunted by hundreds of police officers from here in Rouen, as well as French special forces from across the country. The burnt-out vehicle that initiated the killing, a starting point for clues. Forensic and other specialist investigators spent hours at the scene of the ambush. A violent attack on security staff is relatively rare in France, so many have found the level of indiscriminate violence used chilling. Nick Beek, BBC News, Rouen, France. Well, let's go live now to Nick, who is in Rouen. Um, what is the latest, Nick, this morning on that manhunt? Good morning, Nikki. Yes, well, the uh, police in France, every police station has been sent a photograph of Mohamed Amra, also his details. So that means that officers at this particular police station, as well as across the country, are part of uh, this search for him to varying degrees. Overnight, to be honest, we haven't seen any huge development in the way of big public raids on houses or properties or other places linked to the suspect and people who he may have associated with. So it's hard to assess the extent to which the, the French authorities are closing in on this gang. Certainly we've got a bit more detail about the prisoner who was who was freed yesterday. We know he's 30 years old, a burglar. He, he lived in this uh, area but was linked crucially to the city of Marseille down in the south which has seen this real explosion in gang violence over the past year or so. He was a man with 13 convictions. His lawyer actually rang up a French radio station to say that he'd like to believe that he had nothing to, to do with what was going to happen, that he had no inkling that associates might try to free him. However, at the same time, it's also being reported here in France that he tried to break out of his prison cell earlier in the week and attempted to use some sort of saw to break through. Now, clearly that attempt was unsuccessful, but yesterday it was successful and, and with deadly consequences, these two uh, prison agents being killed during the ambush. Yeah, on that, do we have more details about the two that died and the others who were injured? We do. The men were 52 and 34 years old. The older uh, prison officer had two children. He was married. Uh, the younger man, 34, we're told that his wife was pregnant, five months pregnant. And so there is, as you'd imagine, a huge amount of upset and shock among the, the community uh, in which they live, but also among their colleagues. And what we've seen today, actually, is fellow prison 
staff launching their own sort of uh, action this morning. And what they're doing is they're blocking the entrance to some prisons, not just here uh, in Normandy in the north of France, but also in different parts of the country. And what they're doing is they say they're trying to send a message that at the moment there are far too many uh, prisoners, they believe, being taken from prison uh, to court and vice versa, that these are unnecessary journeys that put prison staff at risk. And instead, they'd like to see an increase in the number of court appearances that are made via a video link up, via Zoom, that sort of thing. So that's a message they're sending out today at the same time that the French authorities, boosted by elite forces, special forces, are trying to find these suspects. Yeah, we're seeing some of those pictures that you mentioned of the prison guards who are gathering as part of that, as you were talking about the support for the uh, police officers who were killed and those who were injured. Nick, thank you very much for the latest from Rouen. And you can